We're in the garage today and we're going to do some range tests with the new GMRS radios. We've got them installed on both Jeeps. Antennas are all tuned and ready to go, so I'm going to go for a drive and uh, see what kind of range we can get from these radios. Both Jeeps have Browning BR450 antennas installed. It's very important that you tune these antennas. You actually have to cut them to tune them, so I used my favorite little SWR meter, which is about 35 bucks. I'll put a link to that in the information section below. And what we're testing are the BTEC GMRS 50X1 radios. I've got mine installed right here in the not a Rubicon and in the is a Rubicon we've got it installed right here. The BTEC GMRS 50X1 is a 50 watt GMRS radio. That's the maximum amount of power you can legally use on GMRS and it's the highest power radio that I could find. I could not find any other 50 watt radios. A few companies make GMRS radios, uh, but the most of them only go up to 30 watts. So this one goes up to 50 watts. It's switchable. You can go high, low, and medium power, 5 watts, 18 watts, and 50 watts. So we're going to be testing them today. Basically, what I'm going to do is get in the Nata Rubicon. Mrs. Nata Rubicon is going to stay here in the garage with her radio here. I'm going to drive to a few different places, a few different stops I've mapped out, basically getting further and further away just to see what kind of signal and range we can get on these radios. Now the radios have little power meters that will show up right here. You can see it as it picks up static. The text changes from the name of the radio that we've given it. There you see the power meter. So we'll get an idea of how powerful the signals are coming through. Really all we care about is can you hear me or can you not hear me? But the power meter will let us measure the signal just to make it a little bit more scientific. Now we're going to be performing these tests in almost ideal conditions. I would say fair to good conditions. I'm located in the Inland Empire of Southern California. Roughly, if you look at a map, at where Interstate 210 and Interstate 15 converge. So where I'm at about 1,700 feet elevation, and that's where the Isa Rubicon will be. She's going to be staying home, so her Jeep will be at about 1,700 feet elevation. And as you can see, we do have, she's going to be parked right here in the garage, and there are some trees and houses, but because we're up high, most of the valley is below, and I'm going to be trying to stay in that valley. And I'm basically going to drive south as far as I can until we either can't talk anymore or until I run out of highway without running into the mountains. So no matter how good the radio is, it can't talk through mountains. Okay, that's enough talking. I'm going to jump into the Nata Rubicon and I'm going to start driving down the road. All right, we're at the first stop, just over five miles away. Forgot to mention, we're using GMRS channel 16. This is simplex, no repeaters or anything. And I'm starting on low power, five watts. So let's give it a try. Mobile, calling base, do you copy? I copy you. Roger that, what's the power, meeting, power meter reading that I'm coming in at? 53. Roger that, call you back in a while. All right, so five watts, low power at five miles, no problem. So let's go down to the next stop, which is another 10 miles or so down the road. All right, now we're at stop number two, 10.3 miles away. Let's give a call out on the radio and see how we're coming in. We're on low power, calling the base. Do you copy? Reply 9 allowed. Calling base on medium power, 18 watts. How am I coming in? She heard me good, she said. So we'll go a few miles away and try again. All right, we're at stop number three now. It's at about 25 miles. And uh, I drove through a lot of hills and trees and stuff to get here. So I'm a little iffy on wh whether or not we'll get through from here. Let's see how this works. Mobile, calling base, do you copy? Mobile, calling base, do you copy? I copy. Roger that. I'm at high power. What's the meter reading? One, two, one, two. What's the meter read? 58. Roger that. Low power, 5 watts. Wow. You read me now. What's the meter read? 51, 52. Over 20 miles, and I switched down to low power. That's, um, you know, 5 watts. 
and she was still able to copy me. So I'm, I'm really surprised. Okay, it's now the next morning. And uh, yesterday after the uh, last stop, I realized that it's really hard to go more than 20 miles or so anywhere in the Inland Empire in any one direction without running in, into a range of mountains. So the area that I wanted to go to uh, was surrounded by mountains that had somehow eluded me on Google Earth. So today I've gone a different direction. I have traveled west. And if you know anything about the Inland Empire and Southern California, you know that west of the Inland Empire is Los Angeles County. So I'm in the beautiful downtown city of South El Monte, just a little bit north of Interstate 60, just off of Rosemead Boulevard. I think that's El Monte. So by looking at Google Earth, it looks like there's not a whole lot between home 30 miles behind me. It's 30 or 31 miles east of me. So we're going to fire up the radio and see if we can reach that far. If, I'm already surprised we've got the distances that we did yesterday. So if we can hit 30 miles, it's just going to be amazing. But I'm, I'm really, I'm not real confident because 30 miles is a long way. I don't even know, even though the house is at a higher elevation, I don't know how the curvature of the earth is going to work into this equation. So let's just see if it works at 30 miles. Calling base, do you copy? Mobile calling base, do you copy? Okay, so no luck at 30 miles. Now I could have just connected to a repeater. There's a repeater 30 or 35 miles away from here that I know I can connect to. That's kind of cheating because a repeater's got a 100 foot antenna and it's perfectly maintained and it's up at the top of a mountain. I wanted to do this test to give an idea of you've got two Jeeps out on the trail, how far can you talk? And basically, it seems that if you can see that Jeep, obviously line of sight, you're going to be able to talk to it. As long as you don't have a mountain or you're not in a, a valley or a canyon or something, if you've got two of these radios, you're going to be able to talk to each other. So I hope you enjoyed watching. If you've got questions about uh, these BTEC radios, just post a comment below. I'll try to answer it. If you watch this video this far, it couldn't have been that bad. So please press, don't mash or smash the like button. Press the like button. Too much mashing of like buttons going on on YouTube lately. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll be doing more communications videos as well as our regular off-roading videos in the near future. So thank you for watching and we hope to see you on the trail.